message of today tells us why we need the gospel 24/7. And the reason is that the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour and he prowls around 24/7. And Satan hinders people from enjoying the covenant and relaying it. He brings disunity. Oh, so if there is any element of disunity in the body of Christ, no, it's the work of the enemy. Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to today's worship service here in Mombasa Mission Church. I pray that you will hear God's God's voice through today's message. Today's message says the gospel 24/7. And today's message tells us why we need the gospel 24/7. And let's uh, read God's word in the book of Romans chapter 2 and verse 1 to verse 11. This is what the word says. You then have no excuse you will pass judgment on someone else what whatever point you judge the other you are condemning yourself because you who pass judgment do the same things now we know that god's judgment against those who do such things is based on truth So when you a mere man pass judgment on them and yet do the same things do you think you will escape God's judgment or do you show contempt for the riches of his kindness tolerance and patience not realizing that God's kindness leads you towards repentance But because of your stubbornness and your unrepentant heart you are storing up wrath against yourself for the day of God's wrath when his righteous judgment will be revealed God will give to each person according to what he has done to those who by persistence in doing good seek glory honor and immortality he will give eternal life but for those who are self-seeking and who reject the truth and follow evil there will be wrath and anger there will be trouble and distress for every human being who does evil first for the Jew then for the Gentile but glory honor and peace for everyone who does good first for the Jew then for the Gentile for God does not show favoritism may the lord bless his word amen as i told you in my introduction the message of today tells us why we need the gospel 24/7 And the reason is that the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour and he prowls around 24/7 and Satan hinders people from enjoying the covenant and relaying it he brings disunity oh so if there is any element of disunity in the body of Christ no it's the work of the enemy Satan does this mess by spreading thoughts of criticism and judging others. Remember criticism spreads deadly poison and it spreads deadly poison not only to human relationship but to also the person criticizing others. And if we do not enjoy the gospel 24/7 we will be defenseless in the attacks of the devil. I pray that the gospel 
will be so deeply rooted into our subconscious so much that we'll enjoy it 24-7. Hallelujah. Point number one. The old nature of judging and condemning other people that must be broken. Verse 1 of Romans chapter 2 says, You therefore have no excuse. You will pass judgment on someone else. Or at whatever point you judge the other, you are condemning yourself. Because you who pass judgment do the same things. Remember the book of Romans was written to the churches in Rome. And Rome was a multicultural city. People of different nations were found in Rome. People of different cultural backgrounds were gathering also in churches because it was a multicultural city then people of different cultures were found in the church and because of that there were so many gentile believers in the ch church but with that kind of setup the jewish believers were judging and condemning the gentile believers in their old natures, the Jewish believers were using the law for the wrong purpose. And you could be using the law, which is the word of God, for the wrong purpose. Judging and condemning other people. That, does not, that will not help you and it will not help anybody. Then, what is the need for the law upon our lives? The more you read the law, the more you study the law. We should realize the need for the grace of God. Because through the law we realize sin. We realize that there is sin. But the law is not the solution to sin problem. But the grace of God that was revealed through Christ Jesus is the solution to sin. Hallelujah. Legalistic Jews use the law as a tool to condemn Gentiles. And if you do not realize the gospel, if you do not enjoy the gospel 24-7, you can also be caught up in this problem of using the law for the wrong reason as a tool to condemn other people, even other believers. And when you do so, you cannot save others. On the contrary, you will spiritually dry up. Because condemning others destroys even you who are condemning other people. It causes one to dry spiritually. The one practicing judgment and condemnation will find him or herself drying up spiritually. In legalistic life, there is no freedom. No enjoyment, but only oppression. Do you want to live an oppressed life? Christ came that we, we may be free and free indeed. When the sun sets you free, you will be free and free indeed. Hallelujah. So quickly renew yourself with the gospel. Let each and every one of us quickly renew ourselves. With the gospel of Jesus Christ. Paul said judging and condemning others is also judging and condemning yourself. Because you do the same things as you have just seen in verse 1 of Romans chapter 2. And what did our Lord Jesus Christ say concerning this subject of judging and condemning others? In Matthew chapter 7 verse 1 he said, do not judge or you will too be judged. When you are condemning and judging others, you are killing yourself. Mark that one. When you are condemning and judging others, you are killing yourself. Because you will have no choice but to continue to dry up spiritually. 
and those who practice judging and condemning others, they are still caught up in their self-centeredness. As we read Genesis chapter 3, where the enemy deceived them to think that they can be like God, knowing good and evil. But to change our old nature, this old and destructive nature, old and destructive habits of criticism, we need to enter 100% into the gospel 24-7 in our individual worship. I believe that you have your individual worship. Now you need to develop that more and more. You need to enjoy that one more and more. And in your individual worship. Enter into the gospel. 100%. 24-7. Hallelujah. And every day of success. In your worship to God. Hallelujah. Worship that enjoys the gospel. Now point number two. The new nature of the gospel. That we must have. There is a new nature of the gospel that we must establish. We must develop. We must live a life of enjoying. Let's see verse 2. Verse 4 it says, Now we know that God's judgment against those who do such things is based on truth. So when you a mere man pass judgment on them, and yet do the same things. Do you think you will escape God's judgment? Or do you show contempt for the riches of his kindness, tolerance, patience, not realizing that God's kindness leads towards repentance? Hallelujah. The new nature of the gospel that we must enjoy is the nature of enjoying God's kindness. A lifestyle of enjoying God's kindness. A nature of enjoying God's kindness that leads to repentance. Hallelujah. And spreading that kindness of the Lord. So that people can repent and turn to the Lord. Hallelujah. And if one does not respond to this gospel. And continues the lifestyle of judging and condemning others. You need to know what the word of God says. In verse 5 of Romans chapter 2. He says, But because of your stubbornness and your unrepented heart, you are storing up rather against yourself for the day of God's wrath, when his righteous judgment will be revealed. Judging and condemning other people is... An act of storing up wrath against yourself. So instead of storing up wrath against yourself, it is better to praise other people. Praise, encourage other people. Even those who are weak, those who are lacking. Let us praise, let's encourage them. And let's correct them in love. Hallelujah. Because God's concern is saving people. For this reason, he sent his one and his only begotten son. But when we judge and condemn people, we are killing them. Our Lord Jesus Christ did not come to kill. He came to save. Who came to kill and whose mission is still kill and destroy? It is the devil. Yeah, he is a thief. His mission is to still kill and destroy. Let us not run errands of the devil. But let's raise and let's nurture the lifestyle. Let's develop the lifestyle of saving others. Because God's concern is saving people. Hallelujah. In conclusion, always remember that the gospel saves and legalism kills. And let us therefore continually equip ourselves with natures that saves people. And we will undoubtedly 
be witnesses of greater glory each new day. Hallelujah. Lord bless you so much. And may you experience fulfillment of this word. Even as you continue to enjoy the gospel 24-7. Let's pray. The everlasting Father, I want to thank you for the gospel. The gospel is the power of God. When we live a lifestyle of the gospel, we live a life of encouraging and even praising others. But when we lead legalistic kind of lives, you have no choice but to dry up spiritually even as you continue judging and condemning others. We want to pray, Lord, may your grace be abundant upon our lives so that we may live gospel-centered life, Christ-centered life, life that spread the influence of God's kindness, God's love. Thank you, my eternal everlasting Father, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hi, this is Reverend Simon Kyoko of Mombasa Mission Church. Thank you for tuning in to our YouTube channel. If this broadcast has been a blessing to you, kindly like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. You can also share with your friend so that they can also be blessed as you have been blessed. And if you happen to be within Mombasa on a Sunday, you are welcome to our worship services. We are gathering in Likoni every Sunday from 9.30 in the morning. God bless you so much. Amen. Mombasa Mission Church, preaching the word, nurturing disciples. <laughs>